there's some really common ways that angles get written. So there are a few different ways that an angle can be labeled. Uh, let's just start by looking at probably the easiest way is you'll have this angle and you'll have a single letter beside it like capital A. And so in LA, so capital A is going to represent the angle. So you can find angle A. Other letters that often get used uh, are X or this Greek letter theta, which is a big circle with a line straight across the center. And don't ask me why, but it often gets used to represent angles. You might also see one of these with the angle symbol written in front of it, like angle A. So uh, let me sketch that out here, angle A. And really, you could either write it as just capital A or you could use that angle symbol. So there's also another way of doing uh, angles, which often happens when you have a lot of letters around uh, denoting different points along some different lines. So here we have uh, points or, or letters representing the ends of lines, so A, B, and C. And we can represent an angle by describing the order of the letters. And I'll show you what I mean here. So one way to write this angle here is to write angle A, B, C. And what that means is going from A down to B and then across to C, that angle between those is the angle uh, we're talking about. Now you might notice we could also write that same angle as angle, let me use a different color here, as angle C, B, A, which would be like if we started at C, traced to B, and then went up to A, I mean the angle would point upwards, but it's the same measure. So it's two ways to write that same angle. So here's a quick example. Let's indicate angle D, E, F. And all that means is uh, indicate where along these lines is angle D, E, F. So we're starting at D, we're heading to E, and then we're taking off to F. So the angle that we're interested in is the angle that connects the, the rotation between those two lines. Here's one that's a little trickier because we have a whole bunch more points involved. But again, we're going to follow the same tactic. Angle, indicate angle C, P, B. Well, we're going to start at C. We're going to trace over to point P. And then we're going to go over, head over to point B. So angle C, P, B is this turn here from C, uh, from the, the line that connects C and P to the line that connects P and B. Lastly, uh, here's the other way that we could do a problem like this, which is they could ask us for another name of an indicated angle. So here's what's another name for angle theta. That's this angle here between those two lines. And we want to come up with a name. Well, let's look at those two lines that angle theta is uh, spanning or, or measuring that rotation between. And it looks like it's uh, from A to P and then from P to C. So we could say that this is angle A, P, C. Or, like you saw before, we could do the reverse and say it's from C to P and then to A. And either of those would be acceptable answers.